Okay, this is a, a video not about QGIS, it's about FreeCAD, uh, since they just released version 1 with a, a huge amount of improvements. I thought I'd take a quick look at the version. I haven't looked at it specifically. I've tried the release candidates some, but uh, there are some things I thought would be interesting to test. So first of all, FreeCAD is a CAD program, parametric, that is uh, completely free and open source. You can get it from FreeCAD.org and if you go there and press download, you can get the stable version 1.0.0 for uh, Windows, Mac and Linux. And uh, since I'm on Linux, I use the Linux version. I haven't downloaded the app image this time. I installed it through the FlatHub as a flat pack. And that is also possible. If you have a flat hub in your uh, distribution, you should be able to find FreeCAD there as well in version one. Um, so I'm going to close that down. And when you, oops, when you start FreeCAD the first time, it will not look like uh, this. Uh, I have tweaked it a lot, but since this is a first look, I will show you how you can reset it. So depending on how you installed FreeCAD, it will be install, uh, have a config folder somewhere. And if it is um, in Windows, you have an, um, what is called a hidden folder in your home directory that's called, I think, app data. And there is a FreeCAD folder. And since I'm using um, Linux and it's a flat pack, it is in a .var hidden folder in my home folder, .var app folder, and then org.freecadweb.freecad. So depending on your operating system and the install uh, location, it will uh, have a different path in your home directory. And it's most likely hidden, uh, a hidden folder. Uh, so in the config folder, there's a folder called FreeCAD. And there are all the settings that you have uh, tweaked in your uh, software. So if I simply delete that folder, and uh, then I start FreeCAD again, it will FreeCAD will create that folder uh, from scratch and it will be as if uh, it has never been changed. So this is what you will see when you open FreeCAD for the first time, FreeCAD 1. Um, since my uh, system default language is Swedish, it has picked that up, but I can change that to English. I set my unit of measurement, navigation style. I usually use, go with Blender, since I also use Blender as a 3D software. Uh, it has the more or less the same navigation methods. And now it should be English, yes. So this is what it looks like. And if I just open uh, this simple part design example, uh, this is what it looks like. And navigation uh, follows the Blender, uh, the Blender way of navigating in the window. Uh, so, and I also have a space mouse, 3D mouse, that uh, it has picked up. And I can tweak settings for that one in uh, tools, uh, customize. There are space ball motions and space ball buttons and so on. And I can tweak the settings for how it appears and the speed and everything. So I think this is really good when I work in 3D to use a space mouse. Anyway, uh, how do I get back to my settings that I've been tweaking? Uh, you can do everything manually in the edit preferences. 
And uh, my suggestion is go through this, all of it, and try to read and understand what everything does. It's not super intuitive, uh, and there are some things that are in different locations. I'm not sure. Mm, Marcus size, for instance, that is... If I... Can I do that? Uh, go to model. My first sketch or the first sketch. Uh, especially if you are on a high resolution screen, the points here and the lines, text and so on can be really small. Uh, so in preferences, you can tweak the size of toolbar icons, make them larger. You can, uh, under display settings, make the marker size larger here. And you can, let's see, where was that? Yeah, pick radius. That is how close you need to be for it to pick up uh, your cursor. And if I... There. So on this screen, this is okay. But you can uh, increase that on a screen with high resolution if you want to. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, you can change your default active workbenches. So I don't work with all of them, rarely ever. So I can close down uh, many of them that I don't normally use. Part design is K, okay. part no, points no, reverse engineer no, no, surface and test. And I, I can rearrange them in an order that is more natural to me. So sketcher comes there, part design there, assembly and then tech draw. That's fine. And I can also change from combo box to tab bar. And that will change the uh, this switcher for the, the workbenches. So I'll restart FreeCAD. And now I have them as tabs, and only the ones I have selected, but if I need another workbench, I can add it. So, no huge issue. And I can go through and uh, position buttons and so on, uh, the way I like it. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? So, the sketcher have some settings you can tweak uh, scale ratio instead of changing individual uh, things here if you find everything small you can change the scale ratio so if i type two here let's see yeah everything gets bigger too big for my taste so one perhaps yeah for a video that is probably more visible. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah, that is probably more visible on a video. Yeah, you get you get the idea. You can change a lot of things here. But uh, since I have tweaked in on another computer uh, the settings I like, I will close it. Like that, I will remove my FreeCAD folder and I have zipped the FreeCAD folder from another computer where, where I have made the changes to 1.0 and I will just extract it here. So it will look probably similar to what you just saw but uh, with some additional tweaks. So right now I have uh, my uh, tools in a location I, well, it's not final, but uh, it's more visible to me uh, at least. And it looks okay right now. Yep. 
So let's make a new project. I'll, this will just be a very, very quick project. So uh, I will create a new part. I will create a new sketch on the XY plane like that. Let's just make something here. And uh, one of the nice things here, I can type in my uh, values directly. 50 millimeters, tab to the next one. 50 millimeters, enter. And I got the dimensions directly. And uh, then I can press, I think it's D. And that's a universal dimension. Uh, but I don't want dimension, I want constraints. So right click to exit out of the tool. Pick that one, pick that one, and pick the center one. And I want to use this symmetric constraint. Um, I press S on the keyboard, and now I'm fully constrained. So close that, and let's put a part design and pad it. Uh, oh, I forgot to create a body. Interesting. It did it for me, and I'll move the sketch to that body. And now I will pad it. And it worked. And as you see, it's dark here because I have created, uh, uh, set it to random colors. But I can create a new random color. Was it view? Appearance random color, yes. But I need to select the pad. View, no. What do I need to select? Isn't it the body? I need to close that one first. View, random color, like that. And it works fine. Go to the body, that plane, create a sketch. Like that. Uh, let's Pick some construction external geometries. That line, for instance. And let's add uh, another square. Doot. And let's say it's 25. And like that. Uh, and I want that to be symmetric. So pick that one, uh, that one, and can I pick this one? And symmetry. Yes, I can, and it's fully constrained. Close, pad. Yes, and that worked. And one of the improvements of FreeCAD is that the topological naming problem is fixed. So if I change my first sketch here and add geometry to it, for instance, I want a hole inside it like that. That works fine. Uh, it added numbers of faces to the first sketch uh, or pad but that didn't affect the second one. So it, the topological naming problem is now fixed. So let's see what else. There's a lot of you, things you can do in a FreeCAD. And I want, don't want to draw out this video because if you are interested in CAD, uh, you probably know things about CAD yourself uh, and you can there's a lot of tutorials about FreeCAD, but it's just a way to highlight uh, this new release. And uh, I really like it so far, and uh, I hope you will too, and uh, happy FreeCADing!